everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos I just want to thank all of my subscribers for subscribing to my channel and uh, putting their comments on my videos it means so much to me thank you very much all of you big kiss to you all reading your comments makes me happy and wanting to do more filming more to say uh, this video is going to be about the product that I bought during this month. This was like a palette month because I bought so many palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Some of the things I think you already saw on my channel are some of the things I already tried and did some swatch videos of and uh, makeup looks with so they're all going to come up on my channel soon. Today I filmed, I think, three or four videos. Uh, one with this makeup look. I'm testing a foundation, a lipstick, and I made a eye look. But I just feel happy today and I have time and I just want to make more videos when I can. Well, let's start with the things that I bought. Now, last, in the beginning of this month, I think I already had a video with this. I bought this Colourpop um, collection. Kate in light, I love her. And in color Aquaris, I bought a set. There is an ultra matte lip, ultra satin lip, and uh, what is the third one? Ultra glossy lip. Now I always, I don't know where my other colors are. I will put the information down below on the videos up here so you can check it, check it out. Really like these colors, and it took them forever to come to my country. Then I bought a bunch of stuff that I did a uh, challenge with and it's coming up on uh, I think this week on my channel full face makeup look under $20 and I bought some new products uh, from brands I never heard of I bought this Miss Sporty Interglow foundation in two colors light and medium then I bought this uh, pressed powder from Outdoor Girl before, but this is 007 Prime Magic Face Primer Camera Camera Ready. I bought the lipstick from uh, also Miss Sporty, and this is Candy Cake. Now I did destroy it when I was trying to open it, but that video is coming up. Then I bought a mascara from 007 Queen Bee eyeshadow set. It's not really a palette, but eyeshadow set from Outdoor Girl. And this one is Cafe Olé. And I bought this bronzer Revolution. Bronzer Kiss. And this Miss Sporty Morning Baby Cream Blush in Pink Flush. So, a video with this product is coming up soon. If you already haven't subscribed to my channel, do that so you get notification when that up on my channel. Then I also bought a bronzer that I was been that I have been using for a couple, two weeks now, and it's from Studio Makeup, and this one is Sun Touch Bronzing Powder in 01 Light, and it's such a beautiful bronzer. I don't know, you can't see it really like this, but let me. It's very light. I do like it. I don't like too dark bronzers because I want to be able to build it up. But it doesn't look too orangey on my face. It's what I have right now and I think it looks good. So I do like this bronzer. Then I also bought a foundation that I did a first impression of and that is coming up on my channel next week. And it's this Barber, Paper, I think. I never heard of this brand before, but it, it's a very expensive, very expensive foundation. I think it cost around $66, 585 Swedish crowns. It's a beautiful packaging. They only had four shades, and this is number two, called uh, the first one called Ivory, then number the second one, number two, is called Natural, and this is what I have, and it's too dark for me, so I, ah, 
you're gonna see that video. It's a little bit too dark, but I made it work with something, mixing it with something else. So this is the result. I have worn this now for, I think, three, oh, almost over three hours. No, four hours. And I do like it. I really, really like this foundation. Really, really like this foundation. It looks like I don't wear any foundation at all. Loving it. So, it's an expensive one, but I do like it. And uh, you can check out that video when it comes on my channel next week how I feel about it after the whole day. So, yes. Before we move to palettes, I want to show you something else that I bought. I bought some liquid lipsticks and I bought three of them. The first one is one that I'm wearing now and I also did a video that's coming up next week on my channel. It's the first impression and it's this Nevin, uh, Nevine I think it's called. Uh, I never heard about this brand before but this is in um, Candy Apple and I tried to remove it. I don't know if you can see it, it's almost impossible. It really stays on the lips. I don't think I need to do swatch for you because I already had it on my lips and this is how it looks. I also did a video with the, this Revlon Matte Liquid Lipstick and this one is in uh, Kisses, I think. And this one is so beautiful. It smells very nice too. It's a little bit l lighter than this one. A nice color. And then I bought also this lipstick that I haven't tried. I didn't even swatch it. This is the first time I'm going to open it. And it's from Silk Matte Liquid Lipstick uh, from Flormore. Flormore, I think the, this is. I'm going to put all the information down below. But I've never tried anything from this brand. So that's why I bought one lipstick to try it. Oh, can you see how it came out? Really doesn't look nice at all. I don't know what to do with it right now. Maybe it's a little bit dry. It's creamy. I don't know, a little bit patchy. Well, I'm going to do a video with this one and try it on my lips and uh, wear it the whole day and uh, we'll see how I think about it and feel about it. Right now it is buildable and looks nice after applying a couple of coats, but we'll see. It has like citrusy smell to it. I also bought for the first time something from Models Own and I bought almost whole collection. I bought a nail polish that I can't really find, uh, find right now but I have a video up on my channel about that collection. Now this is the palette. I've used it two or three times and it's a beautiful palette, beautiful shadows but you do have to have a lot of time when you're applying these because they need some work. They are not the best eyeshadow, holochromes eyeshadows that I've used. It's a beautiful palette. I'm happy that I have it and I'm definitely going to use it. I do reach for this one, but I do need to work with them a lot. A lot. So, and of course, you can't really do a whole look with this. I did um, a video with this and using only this palette. It turned out okay, but I probably am going to use this palette with another palette of course because it doesn't have all the transition shade and other uh, light colors before you apply these shimmers or holochrome eyeshadows and also I bought from that collection three lip glosses that I just love 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 I'll be using them they are so beautiful uh, I'm not going to swatch them because there is a video you can find it up here the, I, I don't like lip glosses, really I don't like, I don't even, I don't think I own any lip glosses, I don't think so, but I bought these and I love them, love them, love them, love them. 
So let's begin again. I'm sorry my camera just gave up on me. Let me show you something that you already seen. These two violet boss palettes, Laura Lee and the Pro Eyeshadow palettes. These are the eyeshadow palettes that I reach for uh, almost every single day. Almost. I haven't been using these for the last week or week and a half because I've been using couple, some other sh eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to show you but these are, oh my god, beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to put the videos up here so you can check it out. I have a video with both of them. I did a first impression and makeup look. Wonderful eyeshadows. Something that I recommend. These are, I think, a must in a collection. Now let's go to the eyeshadow palette that, I, that you haven't seen on my channel before. And uh, let's start with something that you already heard so much about. Is this Revolution Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade palette. There are many videos about this palette, makeup looks, tutorials, but also comparing this to Kat Von D's eyeshadow palette, Shade and Light, I think it's called. I I personally don't think they are so similar because I've been so I swatched the Kat Von D's palette and then I really didn't like the eyeshadows when I saw them in that palette. But my sister bought this one and I saw it on her a couple of times and I, bought, I was in love in this palette. So I had to buy it for myself. I don't think I did any makeup look with this palette but they are so wonderful, these eyeshadows. Let's swatch this one. Look how pigmented that is. Of course, doing swatches with fingers isn't the same as doing swatches with brush. Wonderful. This is a wonderful eyeshadow palette. It's not expensive, so I do recommend this one. I really like, the, like this. I couldn't see that that was a dupe, so that I don't own uh, Kat Von D's. Maybe it's a wonderful palette. I just didn't like it when I was, so I swatched it in the store. In the Sephora, I think it was. Now, a palette that I was very excited about. When I saw it online, I ordered it. I know it has been around for a long time, but this was the first time I saw this on the website. I don't remember which way, where I bought, bought it, but I fell in love in the shades and I said I, to myself, I need to have that palette. I ordered it, I got it and, well, what I think about it, that's another story. See, I'm talking about Urban Decay Vice palette. I think this is Vice 4. I don't know. It's a Vice palette. These are the shades. They look wonderful on the packaging. And the palette is the most beautiful palette you've ever seen. It comes in this bag, or what should I call it? It looks so nice. And look at this packaging. Very nice. It's thick and it has like this holochrome. I'm speechless when I look at this one. And when you open it, you get the big mirror in here. Wonderful big mirror, I like it. And you get this palette. And if you can look at it, maybe you think they're beautiful. I'm not 100% happy with this palette. I think some of the shades are too glittery. glittery. They are too powdery, especially this one. It's very hard to create the whole makeup look with this palette. Uh, that's what I have on my eyes right now and our video is coming up with this look. I think it turned out beautiful, but it's... I don't know. 
some of the shades are very nice, like this purple one. Very nice. But if you take this dead bead, it's like black with some shimmer. And you swatch it. It looks nice on the hand, but where is the shimmer? Or the glitter? It ends everywhere, but not on the eyeshadow. Let me show you this color, a green one. Beautiful, metallic, almost metallic eyeshadow. But the glitter or shimmer, I don't know what to call it, it gets everywhere. When you blend it, no shimmer, no glitter, nothing. But if you look around it, there it is. So I don't know, I just, I'm happy that I have this palette, but if I knew if that it was like this, would I buy it? Probably not. I don't regret buying because I am going to use it. Some of the colors are beautiful and you can make it look, work if you work with it, you know. It needs a lot of blending, um, probably another eyeshadow too, just to create the full look because so much is missing in this palette and you're going to see a video about it, so... I'm going to show you three eyeshadow palettes and I didn't bought them myself, I got them from my husband he was uh, in Stockholm and uh, he thought of me and bought one of the palettes and when he came home I was very happy because I heard good things about that palette and I've been using it for like I think two weeks, two weeks I've been using that palette and now I've been loving it. It was wonderful. The eyeshadow stayed on my eyelids. It stayed on my oily eyelids for the whole day. And I was so happy and I was t telling him how happy I am that he got me that palette because I really liked it. Then the next time, for a couple of days ago, when he was in Stockholm again, he bought two more, of course different. But from that, um, from that theme, they have th three eyeshadows and uh, he bought all of them to, for me. And I've been using those for last week and a half and I've been loving them. The quality in the palettes are not exactly the same. There are some favorites, some I like more than the others, but... Should I show you? I can show you the packaging first. L'Oreal's Travel Exclusive eyeshadow palettes oh sorry this is how they look let me see this is nude beige this one this in the middle is uh, nude rose and the first one this one is ombre so he bought this is how they look on the back beautiful eyeshadows. Now he bought me first this rose one, in the this one, and I've been loving it. This is how the palette looks like. It's a small travel palette. These are the colors and oh my god. They are so beautiful. They are so beautiful and very pigmented. Uh, I do really like them. My hands are now dirty from the Urban Decay. You see they are hard, but let me just do some swatches here. Can you see? Look at this. Let me take this one. This one is my favorite. Let's take a darker one maybe. No, this one. Here it is. Ah, over that one. Doesn't matter. Then this one um, I've, I used once. This is the beige one. Let me swatch this yellow one. This one. And this one. Now this gold one and the white one are like shimmer colors. They work better with some Fix Plus than they do alone if you want to get that shimmery eyeshadow or intense, I don't know what to call it. 
I like the mirror in here, it's big and uh, I do like it. Like this one too. Now the pigmentation on the rose one is better than on this beige. And the last one is this number two, it's beige. Really nice natural colors. Let me do swatches. Uh, so I do like all the three of them. The my favorite is this rose, rose one. Uh, the second that I like is this uh, beige, and on the third place come this. No, this is. Oh my god! I'm sorry, I said wrong. This is the beige one. I'm. So, I said wrong. I, I. This came off from this packaging, and this is the beige one. This is my second favorite, and uh, this is my favorite, the rose one. The least. The third one that I do like, I think this is the ombre, this ombre one. They are good quality, not so much fallouts, but I found like these two not as pigmented as I would like to. And uh, this blue one is pigmented. So I don't know, I do like them. I do like it, I'm going to use it, really. But if I'm going to compare these three, Rose one is my favorite. So I'm happy I got this from my husband. I think I bought more things, but I just can't find them or I can't remember if I bought it this month or last month because when I get something, I immediately start using it because I'm excited. I want to try my products, my beauty products right away. So I sometimes just forget at the end when I'm doing these videos if I bought it, when I bought it and where is it. So I don't know, I don't remember if I bought something more, but if I did I will uh, put that in the next video of course, next month. That was everything, I hope you like this video, if you do give a thumbs up and if you want to know something about me, anything personal or you're wondering who I am, what I do, what I like, what I don't like, please let me know, put a comment down below because I want to do a like um, uh, get to know me video but I don't know what you are interested in, what do you want to know about me. So many things happened in my life so I can really write two books but I can't stop babbling and telling everything on the video. I don't think everything is interesting or maybe some of you don't want to see that. So please uh, put your question down below if you want to know something more, something about me or you want to know me, uh, yeah, know me better if you do. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!